Hello again, NCAC sports fans, and welcome back to another episode of This Week in the NCAC. I'm your host, Brett Bilhart. On this week's show, we will take a look back at all the action from around the NCAC for the week ending on September the 25th. We'll jump into this week's show with a scan of the weekly golf action across the conference. On the men's side, seven NCAC squads competed at Allegheny's Guy W. Kuhn Invitational, with Wittenberg coming away with a team title after totaling 595 strokes. Allegheny placed third at their own event with 601, Denison fourth with 608, DePaul fifth with 614, Ohio Wesleyan sixth with 616, and Worcester rounded out the NCAC finishers in seventh place with 620 strokes. Individual medalist honors went to Denison's Dylan Lee, who fired a 300 par total of 145. The Wabash men's squad was also in action last week as the Little Giants won the Giant Engineer Match Play Classic against in state rival Rose Hallman by a count of 10.5 to 5.5. The event is scored using the Ryder Cup scoring system. Freshman Jackson Stevens tied for medalist honors at the event after carding a 77. On the women's side, Hiram, Ohio Wesleyan, and Worcester were in action over the weekend at the Heidelberg Invitational. The battling Bishops placed second overall with a two-day total of 754, with Worcester finishing in sixth with a 798. Hiram did not accumulate a team score as the Terriers competed as individuals at the event. Hiram senior Kritsini Kocheron was the top NCAC finisher at the event in third place with a two-day total of 167. Allegheny was also in action last week, placing 6th overall and 1st among NCAA Division III squads at Gannon's Michael Corbett Fall Classic, while DePaul finished 2nd among 25 squads at the Illinois Wesleyan Fall Quack Classic. NCAC Golfer of the Week laurels went to Ohio Wesleyan junior Jerry Moore on the men's side after he carded a two-day total of 146 at the Guy W. Kuhn Classic, while Hiram's Kritsini Kocheron took home the women's award after posting an opening round total of 82 at the Heidelberg Invitational. Moving on in field hockey action, we still have two teams who remain unbeaten in league play, with DePaul holding a record of 5-0 and Denison standing at 4-0 in NCAC competition. DePaul and Denison are set to meet next Saturday in Greencastle, however both squads will also be in action in midweek contests as Denison hosts Kenyon on Wednesday and travels to Earlham on Friday, while DePaul hosts Wittenberg on Wednesday. Other noteworthy items from field hockey last week included Oberlin defeating NCAC rival Wittenberg 4-3 in overtime on four goals off the stick of Karen Yoshida. In addition, Denison extended its overall record to 7-0, which is their second best start in school history, just one win shy of tying the 1980 squad who opened the season with an 8-0 mark. DePaul junior Margaret Ellis was recognized as the NCAC Player of the Week after totaling six goals and three assists in a pair of conference wins over Oberlin and Ohio Wesleyan. On our next stop this week, we will look at action on the soccer pitch as league play has begun on both the men's and women's side. Allegheny, DePaul, and Oberlin are each unbeaten in conference play on the men's side, while Ohio Wesleyan and Worcester are the only two squads who have yet to compete against a league opponent. Oberlin collected a pair of W's last week as the Yeoman opened the week with a 3-0 triumph over Heidelberg and added a 1-0 conference decision over Wabash on Saturday. Yeoman senior Oliver Miller Farrell captured NCAC men's Soccer Player of the Week accolades after dishing out an assist in the victory over Heidelberg and scoring the game winner against the Little Giants. Ohio Wesleyan, which is ranked in the top 10 in a pair of national polls, improved to 7 and 1 over overall after defeating Ohio Northern 3 to 1 and John Carroll 2 to 1 in non-conference action last week. The battling Bishops used a balanced offensive attack as five different players tallied a goal for OWU. On the women's side, league play will begin to dominate the schedule in the week ahead as there are six matches on the NCAC slate. DePaul carries an early edge in the conference standings with a 2-0 record, capped off by a 3-1 triumph over Hiram last week. 
Tiger sophomore Angela Cotherman score the Tigers' first two goals in the victory over the Terriers to help DPU overcome an early 1-0 deficit. In addition, Denison went unbeaten against a pair of nationally ranked opponents as the Big Red played number 25 Ohio Northern to a scoreless tie and handed number 8 center its first loss, loss of the season with a 1-0 victory. Big Red sophomore goalie Andrea Carl secured NCAC Player of the Week honors after totaling 17 saves in the two shutout performances. Carl tied her career high with 7 saves against ONU and then set a new career benchmark with 10 saves against center. It was another eventful weekend on the gridiron in the NCAC, highlighted by a pair of incredible individual performances by this week's Player of the Week recipients. Oberlin earned its first league victory on Saturday as the Yeoman posted a 27-7 victory over Hiram. Yeoman junior Robin Witches, who was named the NCAC Offensive Player of the Week, was the jack-of-all-trades for the Oberlin offense as he accounted for 160 yards of total offense. Witches carried the ball seven times for 64 yards, completed three or four pass attempts for 24, 27 yards and one score, pulled down three receptions for 69 yards and one score, and to top it all off, he drilled an extra point to the uprights in the second quarter. Worcester also captured its first NCAC victory of the season with a 10-6 triumph over Ohio Wesleyan. The defensive struggle was sparked by this week's NCAC Defensive Player of the Week award winner, Worcester senior defensive tackle Daniel Terhune. Terhune amassed seven solo tackles, including five tackles for loss and three sacks, to help the Fighting Scots defensive unit limit the, limit the battling Bishops to negative three yards rushing on 22 attempts. It marked the first time since 2006 that a Worcester defensive unit has limited an opponent to negative yards on the ground. In addition, Wittenberg improved the 2 0 in league, in league action with a 38-3 triumph over Allegheny in Springfield. The conference schedule picks up next Saturday with Worcester hosting Denison, Oberlin traveling to Wittenberg, and Wabash hosting Kenyon. There was limited action on the cross-country circuit last week as many of the NCAC squads are tuning up for the All-Ohio Championships at Cedarville this Friday. DePaul and Wittenberg were in action last week at the Otterbein Invitational. On the men's side, DePaul placed second behind a strong effort from NCAC Runner of the Week recipient Noah Drody. Drody finished first of 136 runners on the 8K course in a time of 25 minutes, 56 seconds. Wittenberg was eighth in the team standings with Sean Redfield pacing the Tigers in 46th place with a time of 28 minutes and 50 seconds. In the women's race in Westerville, DePaul again finished in second place, with Wittenberg just two slots behind in fourth. DPU sophomore Siri Retrum was the top NCAC finisher in the event, placing second on the 6K course in a time of 22 minutes, 55 seconds, while Wittenberg's Molly King also registered a top 10 finish after crossing the line in 10th with a time of 23 minutes and 43 seconds. Oberlin traveled to Massachusetts on Saturday to compete at the Williams Invitational. The Yo women placed 6 out of 16 teams, while the Yo men finished 9th out of 16 squads. Oberlin freshman Carrie Likens was awarded the NCAC Women's Runner of the Week award after placing 28th of 202 runners at the event with a time of 23 minutes, 39 seconds on the 6K course. Denison, Hiram, Kenyon, Oberlin, Ohio Wesleyan, Wittenberg, and Worcester will all participate in the highly competitive All-Ohio Championships on Friday, while Wabash will also be in action this weekend, traveling to the Notre Dame Invite on Friday and the Earlham Invite on Saturday. And finally, we'll wrap up this week's show by analyzing the results from the first NCAC Volleyball Weekend event hosted by Kenyon on Saturday and Sunday. DePaul and Wittenberg both posted perfect 4-0 records over the two-day event, while Denison secured a 3-1 mark, with Hiram, Kenyon, and Worcester each tallying two wins. Ohio Wesleyan junior outside hitter Megan Weissenberger was named the NCAC Volleyball Player of the Week winner after she smashed 10 kills and added 12 digs in OWU's 3-0 victory over Oberlin. 
The victory snapped OU's 20-match winless streak in conference play dating back to October 24, 2009. In four total matches over the weekend, Weissenberger tallied 36 kills and 54 digs in 15 total sets. Conference matches continue in the NCAC this week as there are three matches scheduled for Wednesday and four on Saturday. Fans, we thank you again for tuning in and we look forward to keep continually keeping you up to date on the most current NCAC highlights on our weekly installments of This Week in the NCAC. And as always, for up-to-date news, standings, and stats on your favorite NCAC squads, you can visit our website at www.northcoast.org.